powering on the mic off. Mic on. All right, good morning, everyone. How are we doing today? Hope everyone is doing awesome. I'm just going to do a quick volume check uh, real fast just to make sure that things are working on my end, and then we will get after it. So, um, looks like things should be coming through. All right, let's get into it. Um, today, we are going to look into good volume. We're going to look into kind of, there's this new extension, or sorry, it's not new, but it just released a new update 2.0, um, and I just found out about it. It's called Stadia Plus. Um, let me go ahead and switch my screen so you might be able to see a little bit more. Um, before we get into it, though, Stadia Gamers, it's a Facebook group. It's a Facebook page. Go check it out. Um, it's where I post all my content and really just want to try and grow the Stadia 
community as much as possible and get as much Stadia footage out there. So if you want to join that, go ahead. Um, so again, back into what we're talking about today. Today we're going to be talking about a Stadia Plus Chrome extension. Now, if you remember with Chrome, sometimes it's not good to have extensions because that can sometimes slow down your Stadia experience. So we're going to look into that a little bit and see if that has any impact. But the cool thing is, is if you're looking up here on the top right screen, I have this little plus icon and this is called the Stadia Plus extension. Now, this extension is free. All you have to do is you just go to the Chrome store or you could even probably type into Google here, Stadia Plus extension click on this chrome.google.com and boom it's going to take you this guy by the name of Malta Kloof all right my friends that's what's the we'll call him we'll call him my friends he created this this um, extension to kind of help a little bit with stadia and has a couple cool features that we're going to go through and kind of showcase today as we game so without further ado let's go ahead and check it out so my extension is enabled and you can choose to launch stadia through clicking on it there's a help and FAQ as well as a Discord and Reddit. Um, cool feature right off the bat is the fact that you can sort your games. Okay, obviously this is something that Stadia doesn't have out there right now, but this is something that the feature will give you, um, and it's really an awesome little feature. I normally have, you know, normally everything is just naturally sorted recently played, but the fact that you can actually just have it alphabetically sorted is really nice. So. Lex Alves, thank you for liking the stream, my friend. As always, thanks for stopping by. Um, now, the other cool thing is you can actually hide games with this as well. Okay, so right now, I actually have one game hidden. So if you scroll through here, you're probably wondering, like, ah, oh, what game is not showing up right now? Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and click Show Hidden. And if you want to hide games, you can simply click this little eyeball icon. So if I don't want to see Assassin's Creed, I click the eyeball icon, and it's hidden. If I hit show hidden, Assassin's Creed pops up there with the eyeball, with the, with the X across showing that it's been hidden. You can unhide it like that. But there is a game on here, stacks on stacks on stacks, that I had hidden. So that game was not showing up initially. So that's kind of fun. But again, I've seen some people early on in the early Stadia days wondering like, hey, how can I remove a game that I already claimed? And I was like, why the hell would you want to remove a game? Like, it was free. It doesn't really matter. It's not going to affect your library. And then I was like, well, it would be nice because let's say let's say in two years down the road, you know, I'm sure Stadia might release their own version of this. But in two years down the road, if we have 50 some odd games and there are games that either we've beaten or we never end up playing, for example, stacks on stacks on stacks, or maybe I've beaten SteamWorld Dig 2 and I'm like, you know, I've literally done everything I can. I don't need it anymore. I can just hide it. So. I think that that's a pretty cool feature you can have right now. Um, games I don't really play much, Samurai Showdown, Stacks on Stacks on Stacks. I can just click the hidden, I can check that, and all of a sudden Stacks on Stacks on Stacks doesn't appear anymore. So that's the, a couple of the cool features. Now that's just the beginning. The next features I have to go through is when I have to actually start a game. So let's go ahead and go down to Series Sam. All right, and now I tried to enable this, this next feature, um, and it requires you to close down. So once you open a game, you can hit shift tab. Now normally you just have connection controller and audio, but now you will see that you have a Stadia Plus option and a monitor option. Okay. Stadia Plus. Now this is where you can change resolution. So before they launch 4K for Chrome, all right, you could actually utilize this and you can you can force 4K resolution. As far as the codec, I believe that the VP9 is supposed to be very fast, and I believe that that was the one that is kind of supposed to enhance things. If someone in the chat knows better than me, all right, which <laughs> doesn't take much to know better than me, uh, feel free to, to let me know um, if, if that was incorrect statement right there. Um, but that is, that's kind of what you can do with the Stadia Plus. The monitor option, this is where, this is what I really am excited about. All right, we're my latency up here, my FPS, and my screen resolution. All right. Now, as you can see, my screen resolution, 9, 1920 by 1080. I think that's just a normal screen resolution these days. Like, I'm not going to lie. This is where people are getting, are getting that latency on Stadia is so bad. So I'm actually going to be recording this whole session, and I'm going to see what happens if I, because every now and again when I'm streaming, I'll feel a little bit of a blip. Um, and so I'm, I'm kind of curious when I, when I feel that blip, I'm going to see if I can kind of remember when that was and then go back later and check to see just what happened to the latency. 
So, but right now it's showing that, yeah, we're 60 FPS or around there, and our latency is about 30, 30 milliseconds, which I don't think is bad at all. So that's another cool feature about this. If there's anything else, um, so right now it says my connection is good. Good, I'm glad we have good. Um, I don't think we have great. I'm curious though if I could force like a VP9 if that would change. Again, I'm not 100% certain about some of this. Depends largely on your machine. Okay. A thousand percent. Also, I think the date might be a different, a little bit of a user interface thing as well. So, but let's go ahead and let's play some, let's play some serious Sam and let's check out the latency and see how things are going. Now, if ever you've seen me stream before, okay, there's not a whole lot of, of bad things that happen while I'm streaming. And again, I keep trying to tell people, I'm like, guys, you, you also got to remember, like this, this thing is, I'm getting this, this data sent to my computer from over the internet. I am then having my computer do work to process it into Streamlabs, you know, basically copy the video footage, I'm capturing the video footage, and then I have to resend it back into the internet. So you would expect some sort of some sort of lag, some sort of latency, but in reality, it's it is pretty darn flawless and there's really not too much going on. So let's see if we can keep an eye up there. Um, 48 millisecond latency. Okay, back down to 26. I guess I need to turn up my volume because holy crap, I did not hear that guy come near me. All right. Oh, that was a good shot, Blue. All right. Whoa. So, so far, not an accurate representation input delay. Okay, well, that's good to know. Boop. Nice. Total traffic. So, I believe the total traffic is showing... I'm assuming that's my consumption of, of data right there. So I'm already up to the uh, the 1.6 gigabytes right there. Uh oh, oh, those guys are new. Just kidding. Let's see. Oh, I don't have my, my cannonball yet. That's not good. Got to use that, that apex strafing, man. Oh gosh. Oh, that guy's kind of scary looking. Um, so right now, my average packet loss being, what is that, 0.0004%. Now I am curious as to what exactly is like a standard and average. Um, you know what I mean? Like, what's an average packet loss for kind of any sort of system or any sort of game? You know, let's hit F6 to save. All right. So I do have unlimited data. Um, I don't have any sort of uh, data cap, so I'm never too worried about um, me and doing running running over some sort of data cap. So that's um, that's always a good thing. But again, I know not everyone is quite blessed with that that feature. So, but I just want to let you know where where I'm at in the Pacific Northwest is we don't have to worry about that. Um, it looks like my friends is the um, is the jitter buffer. Um, so is the jitter buffer over there, is, is that more, what's the difference between the, uh, the jitter buffer and the latency? Um, and I know my friends is in the, uh, the YouTube chat right now, so he's, he is the creator of this awesome extension because I've been dying to, to try and showcase and be like, all right guys, this is, this really does work just as good as, you know, normal systems. And I always wanted to have some sort of overlay um, UI kind of feature so that I could so I could see see how Stadia does perform compared to others. Where the frick is the green guy? Get that ammo. I thought he'd be up high. Oh my gosh, really? Boy, is in the middle of nowhere out there. <laughs> All right, good stuff, good stuff. So, just again, these are some. This is a free extension you can get uh, from the from the Chrome store, and you just have to download it. I would recommend reading through the um, read through the getting started guide to kind of help you out in regards to um, where the features are at, how to kind of work them. Obviously, most of them are pretty self-explanatory. Again, you will need to launch a game before you can look at your resolution and the stuff in the top right, or sorry, the top left of my screen. You will need to launch a game before you can do that and see that. 
Um, and then, yeah, other than that, you can access the whole store immediately and filter that out. I think that that's a, such a cool feature. Again, early on in Stadia's days, there's not a whole lot you need to filter out since they don't have a whole lot, but give it give it a couple more months, give it a year, and all of a sudden we're going to be having a lot more a lot more games, um, especially when you play plus, or sorry, maybe it's just called you play. Um, when you play comes to Stadia, and all of a sudden we're going to have 120 some odd games. Um, but all right, so the jitter buffer is a bit more complex. It is the buffer that makes sure frames arrive on time. Usually the buffer stays between 16 milliseconds one frame and your latency multiplied by two. The bigger your buffer is, the longer it, it takes for frames to arrive, pretty much. Yeah, okay, cool. So 16 times two, yeah, I mean, jitter buffer does seem to be right around that 32 mark, so. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I So I did for, I did hit the force VPEC, or uh, sorry, force the 4K. What if I do something real quick? Let me go ahead and save it off. I'm going to switch this just back to its automatic because I think I only have a 1080p screen, so I'm not sure. So I have to reload to, to, to do this. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We are just going to exit out. Um, let's go ahead and just, yeah, we will. I don't know if I just have to reload all of Google Chrome or if I can just reload the single page. Let's see if we can just reload the single page. All right, and honestly, I think it should just automatically pop me back up, correct? Aha, uh -huh, that's why I love freaking Stadia, man. All right, let's see, did it automatically change? Okay, so we're back to automatic, okay, cool. So now, now we're no longer trying to force 4K. Oops, looks like I need to get my monitor back up. Yo, <laughs> cool. Um, so without trying to force 4K, Okay, so my jitter buffer is up there a little bit higher. It looks like it's at about 37 milliseconds. Um, it's funny because it, it honestly, not that the other one was feeling not smooth, but I will say when I do play Serious Sam sometimes and I'm shooting and I hit to switch a weapon, it sometimes will take a little bit longer to switch. Like it'll, it'll continue shooting and I've almost you know, waited for that switch to happen. But if you look at my jitter butter buffer on the top left, you'll see it is going down. So it is starting to decrease. My guess is again, just it almost had to, in essence, warm up or kind of find find the location where I'm at. Um, and it looks like, yeah, it's, it's dropping pretty darn close down to 32 now. So the other thing I have noticed is that my latency seems to almost be consistent around 30 when I did decrease it down. So again, I'm not sure. There's a guy in here. E to D. Um, Sacred Stone touched. Oh, oh crap. Oh, never mind. These guys are the best, dude. Um, so yeah, so again, this is the Stadia Plus extension in the Chrome Store. It's free. So, oh, that was dumb of me. It's free. So if you want to try it out, all you have to do is you just simply go to Stadia. You can just type in Stadia Plus on Google, and sure enough, it will pop up and you just go to the Chrome extension um, option and you can just start running it. Oh, that was poor timing. So yeah, it's a super cool feature again if you just kind of want to see and again I think one of the coolest things is seeing the total traffic in the top left um, and just seeing like how much data I've been using this whole time. So and again I, I don't have to worry about data caps so for me it's, it's not a Important in regards to like oh I got to stick to only so many gigs of data, um, but it is cool to at least see for for showcasing and showing people just how much data can get used up um, that you can kind of see. So my current traffic current traffic that's actually really cool as well. Now that I think about it, because I think I get up to uh, I pay for 60 megabytes of internet, but I get honestly I think I get 90. I got like a Google Wi-Fi, and I don't know if because I got Google Wi-Fi, it cranks out a little more internet for me, or it, it somehow um, squeezes the internet out of out of my my Wi-Fi package. But um, I do get a little bit more than than I pay for per my Google app. So that's always a win. That's just the best thing right there ever. Just chainsawing those because they are just the dumbest people in the world. All right, hey, thanks again, my friends, for, for for doing this extension. It's so cool. It's such a great feature. All right, this little 
Watch out for these birdies, man. They will two kick you to the chest, by the way. They will two foot you to the chest. Keep her at bay. I need my minigun. Hmm. Um, so let's do this real quick. So, um, again, Stadia Plus. This is where if you have a 4K monitor, and I believe those Stadia has launched their 4K, um, you can change it automatically here onto 4K. Um, forcing the codex, I believe VP9 might be a slightly faster version. Um, but again, I'm not I'm not an expert, so please don't quote me on that. I think that maybe one of these was better for like a Mac user. Uh, my, my tech expertise is very limited. You can also edit what you want shown. So if I don't care too much, I'm like, what's codec? It's, oh, it's saying VP9. Okay, what if I don't, well, I don't care about showing that. Or maybe I don't care about seeing my frames per second because I'm pretty confident. You can change all these. Um, so, yeah, my resolution, I know I'm a 1920 by 1080. Like, that doesn't matter. Um, so you can actually, like, minimize some of this stuff as well. So kind of a cool little feature for some of those streamers that are, again, they're trying to, like, I guess showcase or prove, like, no, Stadia is running. Um, sorry. <laughs> Stadia is running 60 FPS. Like, this this says I'm running 60 FPS, like my latency, why is everyone saying that they have 160 millisecond latency? All right, Doom Eternal, that is one that I saw some some weird dude on the internet saying that um, Doom Eternal was like horrible and was 100 milliseconds slower than I believe it was, uh, I don't know if it was PC or Xbox, 100 milliseconds slower, and I was like, holy cow, what is up with this, what is up with this guy's internet, oh lord. Um, so honestly, I wonder, let's, guys, do we want to go run some Doom Eternal and see what the Doom Eternal looks like speed-wise? I think that that might be a good idea. Just because Doom Eternal might be one of the heaviest, hardest hitting games on Stadia, in my opinion, right now, in regards to just speed of play. All right, we're alphabetical. Okay, here we go. Good. Um, and all that. So this might be actually a great test to see just what's going on with the overlay and just how, how steady is running in and of itself. So let's go ahead and let's pull up Doom Eternal and let's see see what we're, what we're working with. Um, so I do believe you need to activate, yeah, you do need to activate that network monitor every single time. Um, it's not gonna carry across your games. So just a heads up, just a heads up. Now, I don't know if anyone else owns Doom Eternal, but the funniest thing in the world is the fact that right off the bat, when it says like click to play, I actually have to hit spacebar. It's the weirdest thing ever. I don't know why, but it it, it is. Um, I'll, I'll click and I will see if you can hear me over the mic. But connect a mic to speak in game. I already got a mic. Oh, never mind. Hey, it didn't even pop up. Oh, that's good. Um, let's see. Okay, let's get our network monitor. Hide it. Show. All right, um, it looks like the network monitor is not wanting to show on my Doom Eternal game for some reason. Let me do this real quick. Let's just do a quick Stadia reboot. See if we can clear out some of the cobwebs. See if we can get things figured out a little bit. Let's try launching it again. I'm just gonna wait until the game actually launches fully before uh, trying to do this, this, this overlay. All right, forgot. <laughs> Good on you, Stadia. Good on you. And show network monitor. There it is. All right. So we are 60 FPS latency, 30-some, 30 um, 33, 31. Okay. I'm just going to look up real quick the challenges for the week. I was kind of bummed because there's two hours left in the first series. For me, it was just so difficult to try and get any sort of level up. I beat the game, and yet I only ended up as like a level 7. So I was kind of disappointed in that. But I wasn't necessarily doing all these challenges. Um, because once you beat the game, it's like, well, I mean, I guess I'm kind of done. So, alright, well, I guess that we're just going to... Yeah, we'll just go, we'll just do some damage. We're not going to waste anybody's time. And I'm not going to try to get into a multiplayer game, because that could take forever. Game completed. Hurt me plenty. And I've even done the master levels. Like, that's what's also very, uh, very silly. Let's just hit game continue. 
So one good thing to know is that the, the total traffic has reset. So you remember how last game I was up to like, what, one point some gigs or three point some gigs doing serious SAM. It has rebooted or reset, so it might be on a per game basis. So something to note. Don't think that you can just trick people. Um, Alex, thanks so much for liking the stream. Um, don't think that you can uh, be like trick your mom and be like, hey, look, mom, I'm only using so many gigs. Um, let's see. Should we do a master level? Master level probably would bring on a lot more bad guys and be a lot better. So let's go ahead and let's try it. Now, real quick, me being a completionist, if you look at my missions, you'll see that they're all completed. But the cultist base, now you see that pink? Mm, pisses me off. And the reason why is this art complex. If you look up in the top right where there should be two pink, it's green. Okay, so when I did the art complex master level, I did the two pink things. Well, on cultist base, there are no two pink things. And that just... It pisses me off because I'm like, yo, I want to make sure I complete the whole game. I want to complete everything. Apparently, I did not. Um, let's see. All right. So we're, we're, we're shooting for 60 FPS, and we're shooting to keep this latency down to 30 the whole time. All right. All right. Now, remember, it's been a while. I've been playing some serious Sam, so my reflexes might be a little bit delayed. Just a heads up, I might have to um, take a little bit of time to kind of get reused to what's going on. But, again, the whole point of this is checking out our latency. Making, dude, that was in your mouth, homie. Making sure that um, we're keeping that down to... Yeah, man, I'm like, how do I play this game again? Alright, so, so far it jumped, it's up to 50 right now. Okay, I think right now 50 was maybe the highest it got up to. Um, why don't we go to get this shotgun? This is my favorite shotgun right here, man. Yo, ho, bro. Cool. Cool down, brother. I'll just do a little chainsaw. I need some more resources. There should be a baron from hell. There he is. Do a little apex strafing. Be hopping. All right, so it looks like latency so far is still still not doing too bad. Obviously, I haven't been able to exactly keep my eye on it the whole time. But I, I did see it bump up to the 50 at that one point. And again, remember, you guys, this is, this so this is, and this is me streaming as well. Like, that's what, I don't know exactly how much, you know, it's, having a stream does damage. Oh, right, that's not my rocket launcher. Um, or how much more difficult it can be. Dude, destruction, brother. But I can only assume that it it takes it takes work from your um from your PC, so it would be difficult. Yeah, I might die a couple times just trying to get reused to this. Um, but latency, latency is looking good right now, so that's a great sign. Just if I can just remember how to play this game. Oh, that's not where I want to go. I will say this. There's a secret. That I do want. If only I can jump back. Phew, what a save. Alright. Take out this freaking spiders thing. There it is. That's that strafe mode I need. Yo, what is up with all your freaking bombs? Yes. Oh, I freaking love the spider final kill. Yeah, we are low health round two, boy. I'm trying to fire punch him, because if I can fire punch him, he loses his armor. Oh, he did. Now, there's a huge guy up there. Do I have my uh, my blade? I do. Oh, he is dead. Missed. Oh, man. All right, so that bumped me up to 50 milliseconds. Oh, I'm not the remote detonator master. Obviously, I'm not an achievement hunter. Gosh. All right, so 50 milliseconds. Okay, so far that I think that that's about the highest it's gone um, on for my latency. Okay, 50 milliseconds. So somehow, some way, this guy claimed that Stadia was a hundred milliseconds slower. A hundred, and even my jitter buffer is is on point, man. So 
I don't know, guys. I think that somebody may have been being a little bit of a BSer and was just trying to create some some drama against Stadia. So if you're curious, I mean, again, it's um per. Let's see. The latency statistic is not an accurate representation of input delay. Input delay. Um. But so far, I mean, it looks like we've been um, we've been doing pretty good in regards to um, our lag, our latency. So, big boy. Honestly, the micro missiles just might be the best thing ever. Yeah, let's see if we can take him out. Oh, amen, brother. Oh crap. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to come over here where I know I can just physically rip people. Let's go ahead and take care of him. Honestly, I also just love the fact that the shotgun has the, uh, the grenade mod. So good. A little bit of extra speed. So... So far, with the with the heaviest hitting game on Stadia, I mean, look at my look at my total traffic. I'm up to 10 gigs, and I've played. Oh, if only it showed you your play time, that'd be great. But I mean, we, obviously, we could go back and see see how long we've been playing. But we haven't been playing long, you guys. I know that much. Um, so that's just that right there is pretty mind blowing. In regards to uh, how much traffic you go through, and this isn't even on 4K. Remember, like I'm only on a 1080p right now. So, that is, that's pretty nuts. But again, remember, I, I'm literally, I'm streaming this game to a PC. Like, like, people who don't understand that, man, they are just, like, come on, this is so amazing. I'm streaming a game to my PC, I'm then reprocessing it on my computer, and I'm restreaming it back out to y'all. So, that is by far such an impressive such an impressive thing. And right now, my FPS, is, it says it's at 60 FPS. Says I'm at 27, between basically 27 and 50, you know, milliseconds on latency. So, and as you can see, I mean, I guess what I could do is I could try and showcase y'all some sort of um, like clicking to show you kind of input delay or lag. And but um, yeah, it's pretty much non-existent. Like here, I'll click. I guess I need to hold it probably closer to my mic so that y'all can hear it. Let's see. That's one way to die, almost. Thank goodness for my quick reaction time. Trying to trying to demo demo what it sounds like when I click. Yeah, I don't know if y'all can hear or not. I can barely hear it. But there's not a lot. All right, there's not. A, oh boy, there's not a lot of latency at all. So, as far as this whole again, I don't know what this guy was smoking. Let's get my let's get my super shotgun mod and let's say goodbye to it because it did not last long boom uh, about it being a hundred milliseconds slower that to me that's just that's clickbait that is my freaking clickbait baby but the sad thing is is that man or woman I think it's a man he has you know a million plus subs and therefore they're all going to be influenced and then they're just going to say exactly what he says to all their friends so then that million plus subs just affected several million people and it's just like dude come on man that's what pisses me off is just when the when when all that false news just goes off and hurts hurts the stadia community because all of a sudden all the all the negativity and the negative there's so much negative belief about Stadia strictly because of individuals with so many subscribers that can, in essence, influence the media and influence the public. And yet users on the day-to-day -day use that actually know the system and play the system in the games, we can't seem to impact anybody because... Heck, I got 34 of the most amazing subs, and if you want to join, feel free to hit the sub button below. Um, and and but I can I can only reach you know so many people. One more. This is really tough. Oh yeah. 
I'm trying to um, remote detonate. There we go. Oh, this will be great for him. I need to get up to 60 remote detonate kills to master my rocket launcher. Gorgeous. These fools are about to get it for me. So that that is kind of one of the frustrating things about being being a Stadia user and yet feeling like you can't necessarily get as much of the word out there. Like I could I could post ten I could post probably literally a thousand videos and not reach the number of people that these other guys can in one video. You know what I mean? Like literally I could post a thousand videos and if my thirty four subs watched it, I, I sometimes get between like seventy views per video. Um, if my, if I got 70 views, I could post a thousand videos and I get 70,000, someone with a million subs is going to get probably about 900 K views in one video. So again, like <laughs> the math is not going to work for me and there's only so much time I have in a day. Sadly, I wish I could just spend all day just gaming and streaming and, and posting videos, but sadly that is until Stadia releases some sort of ambassador program and it's like Blue Bobs, you know, you've been a good boy. You've been a good old boy. We we want you to be a part of our squad. Our ambassadors. And I'm like, "Thank you. Now pay me 40 billion dollars." So, that is that is that is a sad thing. I cannot I cannot um get get my positive Stadia videos out there as much as the negative negative individuals can. A lot more impact lot bigger audience and the sad thing is is then like <laughs> when we do post these videos that are like show showcasing literally i'm showing you that the latency the fps fps is exactly what stadia said it would be 60 okay the latency it got up to 50 all right that's that's all it did um i can showcase this to you and then people will be like oh that's a stadia fanboy right there and i'm like really man like I'm just I'm just a legit boy right now. I'm just wanting to, to let's just get the truth out there, my friend. So you know it's the uh, it's the day to day grind that we do as the uh, I guess trying to just spread the old truth. I'm trying to find my rocket launcher. Oh, there it is. I want to get these these detonate things. You know, I guess if I'm gonna be um, doing this and. Um, trying to trying to get my challenges this should be one of them that I should get so I know this isn't um so right now I'm playing on the master level so oh I guess I should probably recap the old stadia plus extension since it's been a while um, so the stadia plus extension if anyone new has joined it's a cool extension it's free you can just go to the uh, to the Chrome extension store and download it um, it's going to give you, it, it will, one of the features is the cool overlay in the top left of my screen. If you're looking at that, you can see where it shows the FPS, the latency, um, kind of the current traffic, which is currently um, my current internet consumption. And then you have your total traffic, which shows how much this, this gaming session has taken from my internet. So, or sorry, this game, it's sorry, it's game only currently. Um, so this one game has taken... 20 almost 22 gigs already so that's a that's kind of a nice little feature in case you are you know on a data cap and you're trying to want to cut yourself off a little bit um or at least see see the impact that it, your your gaming is having um another thing is the again the fps the frames per second so we're at 60 frames per second which is what we should be and the latency is you know the delay or how long it takes for the um Google to get the information to my server, or sorry, to my my computer. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep dying because going for challenges is like you don't get to play normally. <laughs> so have I hit my challenge yet? Because I swear, man, I have been remote detonating these fools. Oh man, guys, we are three away. Who wants to witness Blue Bob's completing a challenge? We did it. Master all the weapon mods in a single slot. What does that mean? That means Blue Bob's here has all of these weapons mastered that's that's that feels real good all right so I just mastered the rocket launcher so when you master it dual lock so this one I just master it explosive array so I think that it blows people up and then it has extra bombs go off cool don't really care about that but cool I guess the real the real important thing is the fact that I'm now 
have mastered all the weapons, which is what I like to do as a completionist. That was a weird little thing. Now we can actually play the game. Good. About dang time, my friend. Do some apex strafing, some bee hopping. Ah, too late. Anybody home? Um, so yeah, so and then a couple other features in regards to the Stadia Plus. Um, you have your average pack of loss up there. So sometimes when you're playing a game, if you have like a big, big jitter, um, or like the screen does a big blur and it kind of delays for a bit, you might actually lose some, some, I guess, some of the game. Um, it's not really losing some of the game, but just like, hey, on transfer, this is what I believe it means. On transfer, you know, it did not transfer some of the some of the items um, could be some like let's say some shading on a um a frick what's it called these like the um you know like the wall like the uh, the color of the wall not the color of the wall but the the graphics um but yeah so right now with with the game being streamed over to me i haven't lost any packets um i had like point zero 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 one four percent um when i was playing some serious sam um, and I think that you can, I think you can, can you still recover packets? If anyone in chat knows about packets, like better than me, which again, you don't have to be, you don't have to know too much to know more than me. Gosh, I have to beat these guys up. Don't I, uh, feel free to just make a comment in chat there, but yeah, this is, this is a free feature. Another thing is the, uh, the store filtering. So if you go to the storefront, in fact, I think I can just do that real quick, right? Like here, let me just hit. Hold X, because you can have two Stadia instances open at the same time. Um, if you look at the storefront with this this Stadia Chrome, and this is what it looks like. It almost looks like an American Red Cross, but it's called Stadia Plus Extension. Um, when you go to your storefront, you can actually alphabetize your games. You can hide your games. All right, I can select it by recently played, Serious Sam. I got Doom Eternal. This is, I believe, the Stadia, the natural Stadia version, um, how they normally do it. But this is one option to do. The other, again, is alphabetical. And then you can do random. I'm not sure, <laughs> not sure why you do random. I think it was just the uh, the developer just maybe messing around with some stuff. But you can also hide games. So if I want to hide Assassin's Creed because I beat it or something, then I can hide it. But then if ever later in the on, or let's say we we have like 400 Stadia programs because in in two years we're gonna get more and more and more and more and more, and we're like you know I don't care about this game. I don't care about this game. You can hide them. All right, all right, I'm done with that, I'm done with that. Okay, but if ever you want to look at them again, you can just click show hidden, and it has a little X or a little um, slash through it. So those are kind of your Stadia Plus features. Um, I believe I have stacks on stacks on stacks hidden. I'm not really playing that game too much anymore. So that's another cool Stadia Plus feature um, that's on right now. So these are some of, the, some of the things I just want to test out. So it looks like I had some average packet loss now. I lost six packets, you know. What is that? 0.00022%. Again, I think I'm pretty sure that packets is like it has to do with your um like your game, like maybe some of the like the shading of the game, or I don't, I'm not a thousand percent sure. Again, this is not my my field of expertise. If you have questions about taxes or finance, man, reach out. Okay, but when it comes to um game jargon and lingo, barking up the wrong tree. Man, I just wish I could just punch deadly. Would it be cool if there was a uh, like a punching completionist where you could, like every punch you did, every melee was just deadly AF. But I'm also curious that maybe the packet loss was due to the fact that I I went off to a different browser. You know, like I don't that I wasn't in the game the whole time, so it may not have even been the game. You know, like Stadia's fault. I I, I left the game. You are just a little d-bag, aren't you? You all are just little d-bags. Uh oh. I just what is my weapons looking like? Ah, good. My super meat hook shotgun. The secret to the shotgun is you want to meat hook it and then you want to you want to shoot them after you meat hook because then they're on fire and when they're on fire, you get armor. Like that. Or a little bit of flame on. All right, so now this guy He's a real D-bag. All right, which way am I want to go here? I want... This is my favorite weapon to take him out with, though. Unless, of course, you miss. Come on, blue! It's re The reason why I like this one for taking him out is because it's a very accurate weapon. It's an energy weapon, for crying out loud. So I can just try to shoot his little... Um, his little 
robot thing that he's gliding around on. Yeah, I'm like, dude, you guys are pissing me off right now. I'm just, I'm just trying to, just trying to finish this up a little bit. Um, so yeah, so I'd say Doom Eternal has run really freaking well. Um, let's be honest, like the latency, the frames per second, it's all going well. And I don't think that this whole extra hundred mill, like, okay, if this is an extra hundred milliseconds and your PC is running freaking negative latency, my friend, which I'm not sure how you can do that, but more power to you. Am I actually out of all ammo right now? This is embarrassing. I also keep forgetting that I have grenades. Just minor detail. Now you Doom Slayer. Oh, I was gonna I was gonna snipe him around. Ah. Nice. All right. So it looks like my packet loss. Oh, that's average packet loss. So I lost six packets. So that that percentage is probably gonna go down since it's an average. Um, and more packets I can only assume are gonna be coming coming to me. But still, I mean, that is 0.00018%. That is too cool, man. But yeah, guys, I just want to showcase this new cool uh, Chrome extension. It's uh, it's pretty fun. And I mean, I feel like I just ran it on the most difficult game. And yet, it it's uh, Doom Eternal seems to be doing exactly what they said they were going to be doing. You know, and that is they're running at just as good as a speed as a, of a latency as I would I would foresee like a PC. A PC could probably do do a little bit better, but I mean, let's be honest. 30 milliseconds over the internet, you know, even 40. That's that's pretty darn impressive in my opinion. So, now there should be some slithering freaking snakes around here. Maybe not. I'm like, bruh. Bruh. Nice. I just feel like I do not have the ammo that I that I believe I need. Oh, hey, man. Oh, frick him. I hate this guy. So, some people use the super shotgun. I also discovered that this is kind of the best weapon against him. Oh, hell no. No, 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 not the doggy, not the doggy, not the doggy, not the doggy, not the doggy. Because, like, it just, it rips him up. Sadly, he does not get affected by the frozen, but he does get hurt if you, um... Alright, sorry, I lost him. He will get hurt by, um... By just a normal grenade. Oh, yeah, I need, I need, I need my, uh... Jeepers, Blue Bobs. That was the world's worst action I've ever seen. Alright, here we go. Nope, ah, crap. Excuse me? This guy is wrecking me. Now, I have played a couple times where he has... I have just gotten so frustrated because I could not, for the life of me, defeat him. And I swear, I've like I've shot him before and hit him, but I think if you hit the meat chunks... And this sounds nasty, but if you meet, hit the meat spots that have already been hit, then it's not good. Like, then you, like, miss. So... All right, so we're looking at average packet loss. That is still going down. So yeah, I got it. That's average. I've used up to 36 gigabytes of data right now. How crazy is that, huh? Welcome to the streaming world, baby. Speaking of which, I hope everyone's dealing with COVID okay. Um, right, this guy needs to get punched. And that... Um, that you know, people haven't been, I mean, obviously people have definitely been severely impacted and it's super, super sad, but I think, feel like as a, as a country and community, I feel like we have started, been pulling, pulling together and been doing well. So I hope that everyone watching is, is doing okay with everything like that. Um, if y'all are having any sort of hardships, please feel free to reach out. I'd be more than happy to help in any way I can. Um... Just, yeah, just reach out on the old Blue Bob's channel, and we'll see what we can do. I love to hear people's stories. Um, I've been, oh, crap. I've communicated a little bit with some of my buddies that I game with, um, some in the U.K., some up in Canada. So, 
I'd love to kind of hear how everyone else's impact is going right now and how how y'all are weathering the uh, the COVID-19 pandemic, as they're calling it. I think the good news is it sounds like there's less and less going on in regards to less being reported um, or less hospital visits and stuff. So I think that we are having some good news coming out. Um, one of my one of my siblings is a nurse, and he says that by by doing the whole quarantine, is we definitely kept we kept like a massive influx of people going into the hospitals all at once. But he does say that he does believe that maybe we're gonna have a little bit of a of a pickup as you know it kind of kind of finishes off um, in regards to just like I think maybe people people who have been you know, once I feel like once we get released from quarantine, then we're going to be seeing probably a little bit more of um, maybe some some sickness. Because again, as far as the whole 14 days, I might have have the virus, and I might go 14 days, and then it might get out of my system. I may have only had some of the symptoms, but I believe that I can still pass that on to others. And so that's where I'm afraid that even once the quarantine gets lifted. Once people kind of start interacting, people who never, ever got it will maybe possibly get it. Um, and that's so that's where I think that there might be a little bit of a pickup kind of once everything goes away. So but again, we will all get through this because we are an awesome, strong community. And um, yeah, if you have any questions or I'd love to hear how everyone else is is dealing um, and is managing the whole COVID-19 as I continue to get my butt kicked by aliens. This is how I manage it. This is how I deal. I have a chainsaw. Where are all my other weapons right now? I need to find some poor sap that I can I can chainsaw to get to get health from. All right, that's one can of fuel. If I'm going to go after these guys, I need three cans of fuel. That is the sad reality. Aha, there's a little fricker. Get back here, man. Wow, you are defending him. Holy freaking crap. All right, that's some ammo, but I want to take out these little guys. There we go. I need I need the ammo and the health. This guy has just been chasing me, hasn't he? It's kind of an a-hole. Oh my gosh. Good lord. I keep hitting the uh, the chainsaw fricker. Hoping that it'll uh, jump me. There you go. It's funny. I, I collected so many extra lives because I've redone some levels. Because, like, again, trying to complete some challenges or do some completionist crap. I replayed a couple levels. And so I, I have accumulated a couple extra lives, but... I will say the overlay is currently over how many lives I have, so I'm not exactly sure. Is that eight or six up there? Yeah, we're not done yet, are we? Nah, this guy wants to play. Oh, hey, man. Hey, my name is Blue Bops. Oh, snap. Do you, do you like sports? Do, are you a nice guy? Oh, you're dead, man. Look at that. You're dead, bro. You ain't got no health. Punch you, man. Oh, I don't even have my, my full fire punch yet. That's how we win. All right, guys. That was a master level of Doom Eternal on Stadia. And look at how my latency is finishing up. 60, over 60 frames per second. Latency of 29 milliseconds. Oh, crap. That is not the end of the level. <laughs> Now I remember, this level is hella long. All right, well, we may or may not finish this level for the sake of sanity because I've played it about 14 times. But I feel like this was a good showcase of um, the latency. Latency on Stadia, it seems to be just fine. All right, so again, if ever you are hearing people kind of saying it's not, feel free to. You can install this cool Stadia Plus extension on your own. Um, just go to the Chrome extension store to do that. In the meantime, I might hop back over to the old Serious Sam, because that was kind of the game I was playing and was enjoying that, because I'm trying to beat that game for 
gosh, I don't know how many times I've beaten that game. Um, but that was that's so that's that's it. I mean, that's Stadia, guys. Stadia is doing just fine. Stadia is not lying to us. Okay, 60 frames per second. Whoever did that article that said that Stadia was 100 milliseconds slower. That's that's a bunch of baloney. And I know I saw um, maybe it was Stadia Dosage do an article about how he was getting just proven wrong because of content creators like us that are trying to showcase and be like, no, listen, the latency for this game is not what this guy is claiming it is. All right, like look, I don't. Again, I wish I knew what packets were. I really do. Um, I'm not the uh, the most the most um, smart what the frick uh, when it comes to that kind of stuff but um yeah this is this is um this is kind of the latency and everything like that up there so i feel like it was doing it was really good and that whatever that guy was saying was was just not correctly reflecting and again you never know you never know. If you guys want to know exactly what I do with my computer, okay, so this is my computer right now. This is what I have running. You can literally see my whole screen, okay? Here we got Google Chrome. I, in fact, I had two Stadias open, all right? I had the store and my normal Stadia. I have my YouTube stream right here. So it, I'm basically I'm having YouTube run on my screen as I have Streamlabs running, which is uploading to YouTube, okay? I also have my little countdown timer. I can actually exit out of that. And I have Discord open. So I have all these different applications open. And my computer is about, I don't know, it was like 500 bucks. It's not a very, very good one. So that's that's what all I was using. Uh, my internet speed is 60 megabytes a second. That's what I pay for. My Google Wi-Fi says I get 90 megabits per second. So I don't even have 300 megabits, which is what some of these guys claim they have. Um, so I don't know what what the issues with some of these individuals and why they claim that they're having so much latency with Stadia. But that was my experience. This is what I have. This is what's on my computer. All right, so again, as far as just what I'm trying to do is correct things about Stadia. All right, I'm trying to showcase, and I'm also showing you guys some of the cool features. Um, if you want to get the Stadia Plus, all right, the Stadia Plus extension, okay? It's really cool. Mafranz is a very dedicated developer, all right? He launched this. He has a Discord where you can reach out about bugs you're having, and he even, he literally is showing you, okay? He's showcasing um, everything that's going on. He has issues here, all right? Um, he has pull requests. He has projects he's working on. So he's like, he's keeping us up to date, which is a very cool thing as well. But um, yeah, this, this Stadia Plus feature, it allows you on the storefront to sort your games. Alphabetical recently played. You can hide games. You can, if you don't want to see them on your store anymore. So it's got some of that, some of that tweaking. And then once you're actually in a game, it will showcase you um, exactly what is going on in regards to your, your latency, your resolution, your FPS. Um, your packets, the packet loss, and everything like that as well. So, thanks everyone for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot me a message. Um, if you want to keep getting more content like this from me, or if you like to see some Stadia streaming going on, um, you can do basically like one of two things. You can obviously subscribe to my YouTube channel, Blue Bobs. Um, another option you can do is you can go to this Stadia Gamers. There's a Facebook page as well as a group. Um, if you want to join that, I post all my content there. Whenever I go live, I immediately throw it onto there so that way anyone in the group can see it. I want more people doing that, so more people in the group to do that as well. So if you're a streamer and you are wanting to stream to a group, please join the Stadia Gamers group. Like we, that, That's what I want the group to be about is about people streaming all their content so that way we can get more and more stuff out there. Um, also, it's great for viewers who are just wanting to maybe, maybe there's a new game that gets launched. You're not sure if you want to buy it there's a chance I might be streaming that game to the Stadia Gamers group. So if you want like future game content as well, um, and I normally try and do Stadia posts, um, Stadia VODs as, as much as possible. Those generally take a little more time, and so that's sometimes I normally like to just stream over doing VODs, but I know that they are important in regards to just kind of getting good content out there. So thanks again, everyone, so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you so stinking much. Thanks again for everything, and